in our rakumji ashram in devanahalli near the dining hall i don't know what over we do that area is always dirty and i was wondering why it is dirty and lot of illegal activities is happening in that area what is illegal activities means that area is damp with the dirty water and illegal activities means all the birds will go there and put all the droppings there <laughs> all toilet activities happens so i was thinking oh, the reason because there was a tree called singapore cherry they call it gusgus mare this gusgus mare is one of the most beautiful guy because he gives us fruits a lot <laughs> it's very tasty i used to eat a lot So one day when one lady came, I was telling you know this is very very tasty and this she is telling you ate so much that was your non-stop laugh. She got she thought I was got got drunk with that gus gus fruit. This guy is such beautiful doesn't need any care. He come brings out like a beautiful umbrella and all the birds like go underneath. And I was thinking the sunlight is not falling. That's why. a lot of illegal activities happening the cockroaches the rats and the dampening and the wetness and stinking and all this so i called my guys and said trim it up and when it trimmed it up i uh, took the lower portion of the branches and took the upper portion just left it just it opened up like a small beauty umbrella from the main gate i can see to the last end road of my um, library quarters It's looking so beautiful. Rare angel print, Graham Ning Amundsen, born in July 16, 1872, in Borg, Norway, disappeared on 18 June 1928 in the Barents Sea. Was a Norwegian explorer of polar regions. He was a key figure of the period. Known as the heroic age of Antarctic exploration, he was the first to reach the South Pole, the first to make a ship voyage through the Northwest Passage, and one of the first to cross the Arctic by air. He was one of the greatest figures in the field of polar exploration. Road Amundsen said, "I may say that this is the greatest factor." the way in which the expedition is equipped the in the way in which every difficulty is foreseen and precautions taken for meeting or avoiding it victory waits him who has everything in order luck people call it defeat is certain for him who has neglected to take the necessary precautions in time this is called bad luck when i looked in the road amundsen what he said is victory awaits him for who has everything in order yes everything in order when you have everything in order yes that's what all my lectures in the last 825 days went that every child after the school must practice a thousand times before you re enter back into the school if you practice a thousand times yes before you go to the stage you will get a beautiful clap in Ch- in canada language clap and slipper are closely related they say clap is chapale and slipper is chapli they say if you don't practice a thousand times and go to the stage in conscious state you will get slipper people take slipper and beat you and if you practice and go to the stage they get a clap means you are the victor that was the beauty so every child is been taught to practice so the mind is not wavering it is the real karma yoga of indian sanskrit which has taught everybody to practice but in some ashrams they take the rudraksha mark and keep on practice om 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 whatever you call it hari ram hari ram whatever they call it different names to make sure the mind wavering is just brought to one point so that your focus is perfect when the focus is not perfect you cannot get victory even if the whole world is given into your hands or the whole army of the world is in your hands you still cannot claim victory 
the chanchal of the mind has to be brought to a stage. Victoria Vitsi was everything in order. Luck people call it. No, no. If you put everything, that is not luck. Luck is always dangerous. You just, no, no, no. You are not creating a foundation where your roots are deep down and the tree stands taller. Victory awaits him for was everything in order. When you practice from your childhood and almost every day you make 20 fights and then when you reach the 18th age, you go to any stage, the kick moves to the to the gap. How much of a guard you keep it, it strikes in that smallest gap. You do not even have to think the gap is there. The leg will see the gap because the practice of 100,000 to 500,000 times of the kids is gone. It strikes you and you get a knock. It strikes you without thinking. Answer flows without thinking in the examination time because you have practiced a thousand times. And as time passes, the thousand times becomes uh, almost uh, that one is dropped and it's only Purnamata, Purnamata because the observation is so much, you don't need again to practice a thousand times. People always think a thousand times is so difficult. No, no, no. The first few attempts to make the mind focused to that particular point. In the classrooms, I see children wavering left and right. Whatever teacher teaches, that child has not been taught from the childhood about Sanskriti. The focus on what they should talk and when they should talk. God has given everything that the right hand, the hand is given that not to kill. You can kill, you can when create, yes. You can become a criminal also. But the focus is so much that you know, use the hand and the legs and the eyes. Properly. When you use properly, victory is yours. Lord Amundsen said, victory awaits him was everything. All the luck people call it. Defeat is certain. For him who has neglected to take the necessary precautions in time, this is called bad luck. Yes, I always to watch that. Then he was conducting pro tournaments. I used to discuss the matter with my senior student. Later on, I found out Rohit guy could do that work beautifully. So we discussed the matter with Rohit guy, and he made sure that he got the bunch of his boys to run into the things because he knows I am a tough taskmaster. I will not stand for any nonsense. So he's made very much sure who will be on my right side, who will be on my left side, who will be the judge, who will be the um, uh, MC, etc, etc, all in security. I have to always move into the place and then I know it is success, 100% success. And defeat happens when you do not prepare. We had a defeat. We went to uh, shops after shops, companies of the companies asking for sponsorship and they're telling sports, stupid, we are only for cricket. We go, don't give any sponsorship. How much ever we try, later, later stages become very, very difficult. When things become very difficult, when the tough keeps going, when things become tough, the tough keeps going. And I call all my students and said, why should I go and beg them? I call all the students and each one, each one center, I told them, this much tickets you have to take and sell it. Not only you practice, but you should know how to market it. And if you cannot, you are the poor, then you are a thousand man warrior. Buy at least 10 tickets and bring 10 people to the street. That very tournament, we made 40,000 profit. 40,000 without a single sponsor. Just planning. If you plan it, there is no defeat at all. What I see in my Devana Heli is, I go to the field, I see, I can plant this one, I can plant this one, I can plant this. And it, it, it's reaching a stage when my children cannot eat any more of fruits. Fruits are falling down and wasting. We have to take it and then distribute it. God gives us so much if you put it in proper life. When I brought out the supernatural grass from Israel and it was the month of February, everybody said, no, February, no. So when the July, when rain comes, it grows of its own. I put it in February, but I made sure that I run it into drip irrigation. When I put it in a drip irrigation, I found the gemsula near the urine water has been put in a big, uh, what do you call it, pit. I said, cover up the pit, I want that land. And then I took the pipeline directly and started sprinkling directly into the 
into the grass because that water is mixed up with the uh, floor cleaning water and is mixed up with the uh, giving bath to all the cows. And I saw the grass grows to 20 feet tall and put the plant and it's just excess. Road Amundsen said, Victory awaits him for who? who has everything in order. Put things in order is not difficult. But it is very, very difficult when you do not practice the samskriti. Every day morning, make sure that you get up early morning and before the sunrise, clean up the house, light the lamp, sing the song. Yes, you are rejuvenated and then look at the Surya and do your Surya Namaskar. I challenge you. Then your basic structure is done because previous night you already discussed, you know what is for previous night. You have discussed with your family members what to be done tomorrow and everything is in proper children runs. Dun, 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 dun. Defeat is certain for him who has neglected to take the necessary precaution time. This is called bad luck. Don't enter into bad luck. You are all the luckiest in this world. Just a bit of time spent on planning.